Now the land dips another few times before those trees you can see on the other side there. I'll just zoom in, see if you can see them better. But yeah, where the field goes, there's some trees and then the land drops away again into another coombe. But it's nice to have all these trees around. Got to the ridge. There you can see woods over there in the distance. Thought I'd stop at this large beach and then head back this way. Yeah, when I was deciding where to go last night, I did see there was a path. When we cross the ford, the footpath comes straight up. I'm, we haven't been to the ford yet, so don't worry. <laughs> you will find it. But if you've watched the other one, I can't remember what it's called. Um, something like deformity, beauty, beauty and deformity, something like that. Where, you, where I crossed the ford early on in the video, I turned up the path right, but you could go left and that would bring bring you somewhere here. But I'm not quite sure where. Because I my plan was kind of to do that and then but it involved having to walk along a road. Not as busy as the one you can hear, but another kind of but one that's far more dodgy on account of its narrowness and the speed of the idiots that drive down it. Oh, okay, so maybe they will be all right then. Look at the side growth coming out. Maybe they will fill out, but I will be dead long before that's happened. It's the best not to think of it. Oh, lots of acorns. Lots of acorns, Tigger. Well, loads of them. Maybe that's what I'll do next Friday. I'm planning to go to another wood. And I must remember to take some collection bags with me. You can see some euphorbia there. And further on in the back there. Its other name is Spurge. On Lehman Beach, younger ones. But it felt so nice, so I had to come in and say hello. A lot of people have been saying to me this year, wow, it looks so lush and green. Well, it does and it's great but the reason it's looking like that is because last year from about now for six months we had virtually non-stop rain and then we had a few breaks of maybe a month and then rain again and then another month and then rain again and then in the summer it was warm and wet and the reason that Britain is like it is, is because of exactly that. But I will say that this is the first year that we have had this much rain over an extended period. And for those of you that are interested, the three wettest years in the last 40 years were 2011, 2014 and 2019. Before that, it was quite a long way back. Uh, and this is from records in my village that uh, someone I know keeps. 
and it's been keeping them regularly for that long. It's interesting, isn't it? All the wettest years have been in this century. And there's, there's what happens around here now. Walls collapse. But I love a bank like that where you can sort of see, see roots. See the glare that comes through. I can't, I've adjusted my camera. I can't stop it. I've made a whole load, I've tried all different ways and it's not stopping. It's so annoying, but that's one thing I wanted to say. I mean, that is basically, England is green and gray. Those are our colors. And you can see it here, look, look at these trees green and grey and look at the sky through there green and grey green and grey the colour of Britain and also a song by New Model Army isn't it and for those of you who like my musical references and enjoy having a check out New Model Army not everyone's cup of tea But I have, a, a, I like Justin. There's something, something about him. Yeah, in a good way, of course. Now rain isn't forecast, but <laughs> we're, we're in a, like I said, we're in a period of it. Now here's something coincidental that was that I've also just realized. The last time I did a walk here, I was trying out my new wellies and they leaked in the Ford. Well, today I'm also trying out new wellies. <laughs> That's how long it's taken. So when was that? April, May, June, July, August. Nearly five months. I mean, I still, I'm still using them because they're not, it's not that massive a leak, but it's annoying. But I thought I'd take my dry ones today because I knew that I was going to cross a ford. And here's where my gimbal would be happy. But I thought, well, if I'm going to have a bag full of a flask and that and then I've got this selfie stick I didn't want another pole even though I need to check it out one camera on one and one on the other and that's a kind of beautiful sight to my eyes oh well, well. That's saying hello. That's a wild raspberry. Because I, I came by, I thought, that's interesting. Is that an ash? And I went, oh no, that's not an ash. I thought, that's not a bramble. And there's a wild raspberry. There is a side path. We'll have a little wander down. don't think you can get too far along it but no there's a tree come down Ooh, something that looks a bit square but I like that site up there I think that's quintessentially English. That view. Ah, there are dragons in this bit. And that square thing I thought wasn't really. It was a bit of nature. 
whatever that is. Well, I've literally just snapped some branches and gone on my bottom. So I've got a nice dirty hand now. I was just gonna film this bark. But it's on one of those slopes that's really hard to stand on. What kind of tree is this? Is it an ash? It looks like it up there. What is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's just looking a bit. Oh yeah, I can see it now. Wow, that's quite a deep ridged bark, isn't it? Look, can you see that ash tree there? You can see the bark on that. That's a lot different to this one. This is rougher. Ah, young growth. Okay, well first wet foot incident and I'm no leaks. Oh, oh bloody hell. <laughs> Oops, boggy time. Yeah, right, okay. Did you hear that? Oh yeah, that's what this bit is like, isn't it? This is all boggy. I did think to myself that these wellies are probably going to be fine because I don't like the colour. <laughs> these will probably ironically last me years because I find them too light for me. They're not quite green enough. Look. That's not green enough for me. I want greener wellies. Can you feel death? Look at all these trees. They've all got dieback. This is going to be devastated. Seeing as we're here, and I've just said that, in 1987, Meadowsweet, in 1987, there was a late night weather forecast that was infamous, or that is infamous, where he said, some people are saying there's gonna be a hurricane coming, but don't worry, there's no chance of that. And overnight, more bog. And overnight, wow. This is really, this is like walking down a river. Shit. Ooh. Overnight, a hurricane came. The town of Seven Oaks in Kent became No Oaks. One Tree Hill, near where I grew up, that became No Tree Hill. Lots of old trees in Seven Oaks Forest, the forest near us, came fell over, lots of really big trees. The wood near my children's grandparents, completely devastated, not a tree standing. I mean, literally, it took, it took woodlands off the map. And that's partly why we've, we've got woodlands full of tiny trees. Because that night, just devastated woodlands across the land. 
you know that night you went for a walk in the woods and the next morning they were gone literally gone overnight one of the saddest things that I've experienced in terms of nature the first one being the elms of course and I will I have started to film a video of that so that is coming because people ask me what do you mean about the elms and that and I, like I say they ask me what do you mean about the elms and I can't even point one out and say they look like this because they aren't here anymore, they don't exist anymore. There isn't one. Uh, here we are going to head down to the ford now. now I'm sure you've noticed that I, I do try and do whole videos but I, I also sometimes do bits separate to the video you know because like when I'm out filming I, I get reminded of stuff so there are often numerous videos in one. So what I try and do is do the separate, do the ones separately and then put the whole lot together as one. And each one will have bits that the other ones don't. Because <laughs> that's how I do it. The long one will have everything in it. And often be more personal. And that's a path to the stone bridge. And this, this is the path up to where I said going left at the ford. That goes up there, but I haven't been along it yet. And there's where we've just come down from. It looks nice actually. It's hard to say which way's the nicest way because you get a different view if you whichever direction you go in you get a different view anyway here we are at the ford i'm getting a little bit nervous because i've got a water issue and, and look look at it well we'll deal with that on another video i i know it's not very deep or flowing that fast but i've got an issue so Here we go. Oh yeah, that's it. I feel a bit better now. <laughs> and through. Obviously in, uh, in winter that could be quite a lot deeper. I mean, my problem is the slipping because I have slipped many, 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 many times on those kind of stones. There's some Angelica there. Look at that. Now that place that you see before you, that is Berry Camp. And that is an old hill fort. I'm not sure of any more details than that. But I'm also guessing that the spring where they got their water from is the same springs that are in my village. It's lovely to see 
all that young hazel growth in there. Almost like they're ready for when the ash die and that will all spring up and become a hazel plantation. Okay, thanks for joining me. See you next time. Tell her.